Hey everyone, thinking to hear the train in the background. <laughs> uh, we've got a quick easy fix here today. Um, it's been happening a lot to our, our mass cords, not quite sure why. And it's not the ones that I recently fixed, they're always uh, the, the ones I haven't fixed. Um, they're all popping at the, uh, uh, at the connection there, don't know why. Um, but it's a relatively easy fix. Um, I think this might be our last post uh, before the New Year's and a phone is on the on the uh, table here so that's why it's shaking I forgot my big tripod uh, so I've got a smaller tripod on the um, on the table here but um, like I said this might be our last post this is the last week of classes um, before before uh, Christmas break we're gonna take a break for about a, a week uh, just show you what I'm doing here so <clears throat> this uh, needs to be soldered onto there. Um, so I need to open this little clamp up uh, and pull this out. I'll probably use this again. Actually, I'll probably pull that out now. There you go. Probably use that piece again. Um, and I need to open up that clamp and re-solder right there. Uh, but like I said, this is uh, our last week of class. Uh, before the Christmas break. I'm just staying home, staying safe for Christmas break. Um, hope everyone's being safe as well and healthy. Uh, normally, around this time, we have our Christmas party. Uh, so if you've been with us for a couple of years, then you've, you've attended one of our Christmas parties. It's, it's always a big potluck. Um, a lot of different food. Usually more food than we can handle. So I've, I've actually gotten into a habit and I've started to make sure I remember not just to get plates but to take to get takeout um, takeout boxes because there's so much food and everyone says here coach Gerhard you take all this home so I've got like five different things of cookies and you know five different entrees or um, plates or whatever uh, but it's a lot of food for me and even you know nobody drinks all the soda um, but I've learned to just get uh, takeout boxes that way people can take food home <laughs> um, but unfortunately we're not doing a Christmas party this year for obvious reasons this is a this is a soldering gun I've got a smaller one which I've used before and I've actually bought I've actually bought those those cold solders uh, which are crap <laughs> don't those cold so it's cold solders at least for the work that i'm doing doesn't work at all look cool on tv but uh bought one just to try it out and i have one of those pen solders which work great but it takes forever to heat up um i got this from my old coach uh, it's one of his many things that he left in a toolbox that he gave to me um but it is a very powerful very uh, good soldering iron. Uh, not really too precise. It's got a pretty big tip there. It's kind of heavy um, But I don't need precise work for this one. I just need to get the remaining wire off and to do that We need to heat up the solder first Hopefully I can get all this wire in one go Heat that up. But like I said, yeah, we uh, We're not doing a Christmas party this year, which is unfortunate. It was a great time because uh, some of the classes don't see each other, um, especially the teens. Uh, in previous years, they, they'll know each other because we'll do competitions here, and the other classes will meet the other students from the other classes. Uh, but the other time that everyone sees each other and meets each other is during Christmas parties. So um, we're a small club, so we don't. There we go. Came right off. There we go. Uh, so we don't. We have some students that. Uh, are show up on a few nights so they know each other. Actually, what I need to do is I need to take that part off so I can expose some wire there. So I gotta grab my uh, my wire not wire cutter, but um, wire stripper. I missed my old one. They're nice, but this one will do. I think the 16 one will work okay. Anyway. Um, so we, it was a great time for other people to see the other people at the club. Um, but of course we're not doing it this year, so, uh, I really missed that. But, uh, one thing that started a few years ago, 
uh, during our Christmas parties, and I think someone saw a video of it. I'm going to cut that little, got some stray wires there. You can't see it, but I'm going to cut that off. I don't like it. But at some Christmas party, or not, one of the Christmas parties many, many years ago, uh, someone had seen a video right before a Christmas party of someone, I think, skewering an orange. They threw it up and they, they hit the orange with their foil or saber or epe, I don't remember what. Um, and they were able to skewer it. And so they came to the party with a bag of oranges. I said, Coach, we saw this on a video. We want to see you try it. <laughs> um, and thus started the annual Christmas party, Skewer the Orange, here at the All-American Fancy Academy. I've got a couple of videos, uh, and I'll, I'll post them uh, so you'll see it. But that year, the first year, um, someone brought a big bag of oranges. And uh, at the end of the party, we came here to this side of the room, the auxiliary side of the fencing room. Um, I'm just, I don't see. We never soldered before, so this is uh, the soldering, um, what do you call this? The solder. Um, I'm just putting more solder in there so I can just heat it up afterwards and stick the new wire on there. Anyway, so they, they came to the party with a huge bag of huge bag of uh, oranges and so after the party while we're cleaning up we're on this side of the fencing room and we take out the oranges and they wanted me to try it first I, I honestly didn't think that I'd be able to skewer an orange but lo and behold um, it, it, it can be done and it's actually not that hard as you think it would a lot of the kids even the little small kids are able to do it um, but uh, the key is if you want to continue this tradition at home uh, use regular sized oranges do not <laughs> try not to use tangerines or the little small ones there you can they're just smaller harder to hit um, I'm gonna put some more solder on here probably enough but uh, it doesn't have to be pretty uh, have a family member stand about mm, five meters away from you. Remember, you don't want to chuck the orange at them. You just want to toss it at them, like sort of like a softball, but not like a fast softball. Okay, that's about enough solder right there. All right. Um, so I just want to lob the orange at them. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the uh, in the video. And then. If you have a foil weapon at home, you want, as an orange is coming at you, you're going to skewer the orange as it's coming at you. Now, here's the hint. I'm going to give you a hint if you want to try this at home. Um, do not try to go after the orange. The key to this is, is as that orange is coming to you, just track it and have the point where the orange is going to be. So you don't want to go after it. That makes it a lot harder. Um, so at wherever the orange is coming to, you just want to move the weapon so that the orange is coming towards a point. Uh, and you'll see that in the video. Uh, but it's a pretty fun um, <laughs> exercise. Um, you can do it just as fine with a tennis ball, but it's not as fun. Um, but by the end of the class, or not end of class, end of the party, the whole side of this room, we have usually will do this every year, we'll go through a whole bag of oranges and there we go come on harden up there you go uh we'll have gone through a whole bag of oranges and the whole room smells like orange um there are chunks of oranges everywhere uh because sometimes we don't hit these oranges dead on and we'll get them right on the side and you've got pieces of oranges all over the place. So like I said, it's fun. You can do it with a tennis ball. Not quite as messy. Um, but uh, feel free to try so at home. Uh, make sure you are starting to part uh, from the other person. 
uh, a nice good enough lob, um, not too high, not too low, just like a like you're tossing a ball to another person. Um, again, uh, try to track the orange, and you'll skewer it. Uh, so you'll see that in the video. Um, but uh, we're done here. That's cool enough for me to touch. So I've reattached the the uh, mask cord. Um, so quick, easy fix. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope everyone's healthy. Hope everyone's safe. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next year.